Hi guys, today on practice strokes, we're gonna work on glass. I wanna tell you some things about glass. I wanna share with you also that I have already, um, I have already recorded and put a lesson on all kinds of mediums. This is a flow medium, which I talked about glass mediums and I, I wanna spend this time teaching you more. So um, anything about this, the mediums, go check out the medium video that I have on practice strokes, okay? And then what I wanna show you is the difference in the paints that we're gonna use. So this is a frost, that's something different I'm gonna show you today. And this is worker white multi-surface. So the difference in, we got worker white and we got a white enamel. We also um, have, so enamels look like this, multi-surface looks like this. Both of these paints can both go in the oven and also both be used um, on glass, all right? So glass, ceramic mirrors, anything like that. So you have this little glass on top of glass paint, and this shows you glass, metal, wood on the multi-surface. So the multi-surface has more of a satin finish. The um, enamels has a very high shine. Okay, so some people only want their high shine and some of us like more color choices. So I just wanna show you, I usually put them in a little, um, in the center of your double loader where you can put um, just the mediums because it looks, it's like water, it runs. I don't think you can see that. Let's see, are we seeing that? Not really. All right, it looks just like water. So you gotta be really careful of that coming out. Now, what that does is it makes you have a clearer, a clearer look that you might want. Um, and so it gives you like a shadow look. All right, now I put alcohol in a bottle and I will squeeze it out and, oh, here's my paper towel. I'll squeeze it out and I will, clean off all of the oils from our hands, okay? So you just wanna make sure you do that, okay? And make sure that the alcohol, that you rub this really good. You can also paint on the lid, the metal lid, all right? So I, what I wanna do is start showing you some fun ways and how you stroke it. This is one that I did uh, relax and paint this week. And so you can go see how I got the dots and the different looks on here and use the scruffy and slip slap the bottom. Let's see how you get nice texture and everything. And I tell everybody to hand wash if you hand paint, hand wash. Same thing with clothing, it just is safe, all right? We also, with enamels or multi-surface, there's different colors. Let me take off this top. There's different colors that you can use like uh, Color Shift, which is a really fun kind of metallic paint. Um, color Shift or silver and gold. I put, this is a silver, and I will do silver and white for wedding gifts, like on a wine glass, it makes it really nice, or gold and white, whatever the wedding is. But I want you to see really quick the different brushes. Now, these are very inexpensive brushes because I don't have glass brushes right now. We hope to get them back again someday soon. But these are inexpensive brushes. You get like the 10, like you get my dark green 10. You get the same sizes. They're not actually have my name on them. They're just plaid brushes. And these are basics. They're not super, super good, but they will, we have, they go all the way to a small size. And lots of people like to do smaller things. So these have soft bristles, so they're glass brushes. And if you look on onestroke.com for them, and that I list that uh, website in, under about Donna, okay? All right, so when you, when you go look for these, they're about $10, $12 for the set of 10. And so they're soft, so they lay the paint on different. When you're using my regular brushes, you're just gonna compromise by laying it a little bit instead of pushing it really hard, all right? So you have to lay it and you might have to do extra coats. So I just want you to know that. All right, here's this medium is a frost 
white. So what's so fun about frost, you know where you see frosted glass? Okay, now look at this. Jeez, that light's got that so blown out. There we go. See this, it looks like um, white paint, but it's not. So let me show you where can I put this. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this whole upper part with frost. And then hopefully it'll be dry enough while we're doing our practice strokes that you can come back and see what it looks like. So what I want you to know is I want you to know the crazy thing is that glass is inexpensive thrift stores and garage sales and Dollar Trees. So glass doesn't have to be base coated, but it is a great item to sell or give to friends as gifts. And it doesn't have to be base coated. So I love that. Okay, so you can brush that on and it's milky. Let's show you like, here's the silver. I can brush the silver on here. Now to get this really silver to last or show um, co cover well, not last, to cover well, then what you would do is put a couple of coats, but you have to let them totally dry in between. All right. So see the glass as you stroke on it, it takes it off as you go. So you just got to lay it on and then come back and put a second coat. Okay, that's silver. And, and there's many metallics that you can use. So color chef, you can also wash this, but you want to hand wash if you hand paint. Just remember that. I just tell people that just to be safe. It, it, we put them in dishwashers on the top rack and have great success, but it's just safer. Uh, you can't, it's like if you take a, a fork and you go scratch your enamel car, uh, powder baked car, it's going to come off too. So I'm just cautious. I just picked up the wrong color, darn it. Oh, let me see here, I've got another one. I can't go into the water. So I wanna show you again, here is the frost. All right, so when you streak it on, it doesn't cover nice, but if you pounce it, see I can pounce all around and get a frosted nice look with my scruffy. This is a soft scruffy, it's not a hard scruffy. So when it's really soft and wimpy, <laughs> then it leaves paint, paint on there and it makes it nice. So you wouldn't have to stroke it on. I was just showing you the difference. You just come here and you just start pouncing this. All right, and instead of seeing streaks from your paintbrush, it's gonna look frosted. Okay. All right, then I can take my finger or a wet paper towel and I can clean the edge really nice from the scruffy, all right? Now I am gonna pause for one second and dry this so you guys can see. Okay, so I've got a frost effect on here and you can paint on top of that and make it look really pretty. I also want you to see that I'm gonna come back and I dried this too. And I'm gonna come around really carefully and put a second coat of silver. I'm just, when I'm saying carefully, carefully on, so my I have a nice clean edge up there because I can't see that well and be in the camera too. So look what happens by the time that dries. You put a second coat is very nice and silver. So uh, we've taken vases for weddings and we've done the whole vase silver with extreme glitter under on top of this and it just makes a one there's all kinds of looks that we can do with the effects that we have at plaid like treasure gold and all all right so how fun is that so it's got silver it's got frost here all right and so um, I'm going to let that cure a little bit more, but I just want you to see. Now, I don't want to be on these edges, but you could rub these edges with some of that up um, color shift and make a fun look. But so I want to show you on here. This is just one a decorative bottle at Dollar Tree. But um, I want you to know you can literally take our paints and paint on any, like if it already had a painted design and we want something else, 
you just paint that whole area um, on any ceramic or whatever, lamp, anything, and put a solid coat of the paint on it and then go and hand paint it. So it makes it really nice. All right, so um, let's do, uh, I've got a, oops, I got a little scruffy here on the dry out so that we can use it in a minute. Okay, and I want you to see, I'm going to use the 12 and I'm gonna use these greens that I have. I was painting earlier. So let's use citrus and sap. This is not enamel, but you can get enamel in those same colors. All right, so I'm just gonna come up and do a couple of long slim strokes here. All right, let me go a little closer to know it's so far up. So I want you to see that if you have the right amount of paint on here and you, and you just barely put pressure, all right? And do the pressure there and here. And then like you can paint purples, you're gonna do whatever you want down here. But what I'm gonna do now is take the scruffy brush here and I'm gonna make some lilacs, all right? And I like, I used to collect perfume bottles. I have no idea where they all went when I moved, but um, you can take and count this wisteria up here with the scruffy brush, but you have to be light and ta light taps because if you push too hard, it will not let light, it'll look muddy. See how I'm barely tapping it? All right. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of heavier here. All right, and I can do a little bit here. And I can take this up onto the design a little bit and it'll be okay. Because I'm putting texture on here, it'll go right on top of there. Okay. Now I might put a little one here. I'm going to lay this on the side to get the point. And if I don't like something, see how I can just wipe it off. All right, a little bit of white. There you go. All right, so now all I have to do, I concentrate so I can't talk while I'm doing that. So I want you to see that what looks really good is if I take this and I pick fresh paint and I go right on top of the purple. You see that? Right here, right on top of the purple. Now that had too much wet in there, I guess, from cleaning it. So I'm gonna go get fresh paint. Now it does take off the purple a little bit and then lay this right in there. So when I stroke over here with it, it would have a little bit of purple. All right, isn't that kind of nice? And now I'm gonna pull the stem in here. Use a little bit of green. So I just want you to know, you can do little, little creations with just a little bit of paint and frost and have an elegant piece. All right, now I, I showed in the class earlier uh, this week that you can come in here and just do little dots. 
of the handle of your brush. And when I put the picture up online, you're gonna be able to see this better. But it makes a fun little, a little bit of accent. All right. Okay, so what I wanna show you before we go is that you can take these colors too and I could put a background on here. Oops, 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 oops. And then I could put a butterfly if I'm gonna put some paint on the glass itself. So I'm gonna come all around here. It got dented a little bit, um, I guess, when I went from the store to the house. But let me show you, by the time I base coat this, the first coat, which is not gonna cover it well. Let me get paint all over me, but. All right, now I'm gonna come here and slip slap. Slip slap, slip slap. And when this dries, I can paint a little butterfly or something right on top or, or you know, a couple of flowers or something. Okay, so I wanna put that down. Or I, what I like to do too, is I like to punch a, um, a nail through there. And then I just get a little knob wood knob or different kind of, of pitting all and I screw or glue it right on top and not not put a hole but I wouldn't want um, I'd want to glue it before I paint it because the paint might come off if you pull it by the knob okay so then what's fun about this I'm just going to do a really quick one of something or actually we could match that but um, let's clean this brush out okay this is the large, the large three quarter, and you have to uh, take the water all out of that. Now to this, I would touch, this is a hard, um, this is, this is a medium, but um, the chemists at Plaid tell me that it's like the hardest sealer that, that they have at Plaid is this liquid flow medium, flow medium is what you're looking for. So I can put that in there, grab some purple and grab some white, get the brush all loaded. And I can still go get a little bit of flow medium if I want to, but I, if, if it gets too thin, I can't get it to do what I want it to do. But I loaded the brush with it first. Here's the base. So I'm gonna sit it down and I'm going to, let's just do it on the sides. So when you walk by, you would see it. Uh, you could put cotton balls or anything fun in your bathroom with these. And I want you to see, I keep picking up this color and see how thin that is. Now I can make it darker and less white. All right, but I have to lay that color on. And like I said, there's a lot of artists that take and I don't like that. You see how I can just wipe it. They take and they do one coat and they let that totally dry and then they lay a second coat on top of this. But I like to just kind of keep going. And if you're careful about how you lay it, you're gonna get, let me try to do it in a different light. There we go. All right. So now I'm gonna come right here, lots of purple. Back and forth, picking up white. All right, and a little bit more there. And another layer, and another layer. Okay, I'll try to keep this so y'all can see. So then I'm gonna come this way This way, see I come out and down. All right, so then I'm gonna come out and down again. I see that. So now let's do a couple of short strokes in front. So I'm picking up white, white, white. Okay. Plenty of white. I'm coming all the way up to that. You see that? I know I'm taking a long time today, but I just wanted you to see how fun it is to paint on glass. 
and it could be such a pretty accent on your house. So I would come around and kind of do that on both sides and put some green in between maybe. Let's see how pretty that is. So let's go back to the smaller brush or even smaller than that. I think I had a little, yeah, look, I've got a little teeny brush. All right, and I can just come in here Okay. Maybe down here you can see better. Okay. So see just a little bit of greenery around. Okay, so you have to just experiment with painting on glass. What people say is you can see through it. Well, see throughing doesn't bother me a whole bunch, but if it bothers you, then you have to go back and do a second coat when it's all dry. You can't second coat it right now. But I wanted to show you that um, there is a clear medium. And what clear medium does say if I was doing these and I uh, I came on top of here and I did one, two, three. Let's see. How can y'all see that? Let's do over white and move my fingers. All right, there we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one. Oh, get the camera. One, two, Three. All right, so I could randomly put these out here. All right, and then I could take and do one, two, three with the purple. All right, into a pattern. All right, but then what if I wanted to do some transparent see through? with the clear medium. So I would get purple. I don't know if you can see I'm using the clear medium and purple. All right, so look, I can come in here and it's transparent, but it's gonna stay. You see that? See, it's just a really pretty effect. I hope you guys like this whole class today. I'm just trying to, you have to practice this. That's what practice strokes are all about until you get it to where it looks clear and a nice little medium color with your medium. I didn't paint with solid purple. I really, really worked it in. Okay, and then there's your rose. So this can end up being a really pretty piece. And you can also come off of the rose with some of these pretty lavender see-through purple. Okay. All right. Okay. Put the green lid on top of that and I'll show you a picture of that. All right, so there we are with the green transparent top. So just I'll probably show share another time with you some other fun projects with um, with glass paint and other paints. Uh, there we are. Until next week, practice and please share. We want you to share on our site. We'd love to see on our Facebook group. Come join us. Thank you. Bye-bye.